Before the advent of distributed SQL, positioning your database wasn't really a concern. You had a database somewhere and you spoke to it. If there was high latency, there was high latency. There wasn't much you could do about it. With CockroachDB's multi-region serverless clusters, we give users a high level of control as to where their data resides. And as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Depending on your workload, the default topology pattern may not work for you. In this demo, I'll show you how that can bite you. So first I'll connect to my CockroachDB multi-region serverless cluster. Next, I'll create a table and I'll insert some data into it. Now, as I'm connecting from the UK, my default gateway will be the European node. And that can be seen here from a call to select gateway region. If I perform a select against that now, you'll see the query latency is pretty good. 17 milliseconds to get the three roads from our European cluster. So three of that was in execution and 14 milliseconds of that was me talking to the node in Belgium. Now at this point, you might be tempted to think everything's okay, the query latency is really good, let's ship. But because this is a multi-region serverless cluster, we need to start thinking about where the data resides. So by default, my primary region for this cluster is the node in Belgium. And that's why my read latency is so low and because the leaseholder preferences, i.e. the nodes that serve the data for reads, tend to reside within the primary region, which is near me. Let's connect to an Oregon-based node on the West Coast and see what our query performance looks like from there. nearly two seconds to pull back the same three rows. It's generally accepted that anything less than 100 milliseconds is basically imperceptible to users. Anything more than 100 milliseconds starts to become noticeable and a problem to your users. At nearly two seconds, our query latency is unacceptable for users in the States. So what can we do about this? By default, tables in a multi-region cluster will be given a regional by table based in the primary region locality. That can be seen by doing a show create table. The locality is regional by table in the primary region. We're not talking to the primary region when we're in Oregon. So what can we do about this? Well, there's actually a very easy solution. Let's assume that our workload is going to be primarily read heavy. In that case, the global tables topology pattern works really nicely. First, we'll alter the table to set the locality to global. So with that done, I'll show the create statement again. And now we can see that the locality is global. This will change the way that CockroachDB replicates the ranges for this table to make it more accessible to users regardless of their locality. If you're wondering about the locality configuration for other tables in your database, there's a really simple statement that you can run to figure that out. If I run select table and locality from the result of show tables, we can see that of the four tables that I have, one of the tables is regional by row. That's useful when we want to domicile data to specific locations, and the rest of them are global, indicating that these are primarily read heavy tables that need to be accessible with low read latency from anywhere. Just to show that this is a multi-region cluster, I'm gonna run the show regions from database statement. We have three regions, Europe West one, which is our primary region, US East one, and US West 2, which is in California, which is nearest to our Oregon node. And just to show that we're connected to the Oregon node, I'll select the gateway region to show that we'll talk to the West 2 California node. So our nearest node at the moment is West 2, and that makes sense because we're based in Oregon. A few moments later, CockroachDB would have rebalanced the data across the table to ensure low read latencies from our Oregon node. Let's try that. 35 milliseconds, much better. So we're well within the 100 millisecond threshold for acceptability. In summary, it's really important to choose the right topology pattern for your workload when dealing with distributed data, especially globally distributed data. In our case, the default topology pattern of regional by table didn't work for us. The speed of light can only go so fast. So making queries from the other side of the world when that data doesn't reside there will bite you. And the global tables topology pattern is a sensible choice when your users are distributed globally. In some cases, you'll need to make sure that data is domiciled or resides within a specific location. Global tables won't do this for you. You'll need to use regional by row or regional by table, depending on your requirements. In future demos, I'll show you how you can achieve this and why you might need to do that.